Hey guys, welcome to TechTube Central. This is going to be a very, very long video, just going to let you know. Hopefully it won't be terribly long, but this is a video on how to make a website. And the reason I'm making this video is because it's actually been done run by request. I've done videos on how to make a website, but this is going to be a very well thought out video. Now, the first thing you need to do when making a website is first of all, think of a name what you want your website to be. Now, you can get one you can, when thinking of a name like something original you want to come up with something original and then what you need to do is buy a domain name a domain name is a web address like google.com that's a domain name techdeepcentral.com that's a domain name techshade.net that is a domain name and when you are done at the end of this two-part series because this video is called how to make a website for noobs and then the other video is going to be called how to make how to use WordPress for noobs now when you're done you can have a very epic you can make a website like this just launched today tech shade this was made during word with wordpress yes it looks very nice it has a cool navigation bar where you can make a new post login by via the side advertisements things like that youtube subscription widget and it's just very easy to use now after you pick out a name then you gotta register because you have to claim that name that you want so what you can do is go to godaddy and search. You can search for the domain name you want. .com, .co, .info, .org, biz. The list goes on and on and on. You can get them for so many different ones. But let's just say I want to make a website called Free Pancakes for Life. And search and see if that's available. Then once you find a domain name is that's available, you can register. Now there's something very important you should know about registering a domain name. When registering a domain name, it will cost not that much. It is a yearly fee by a registrar. There's so many registrars. A registrar is someone that you register from. There's Will Hosting, there's GoDaddy. There are so many different registrars out there. But I like GoDaddy. It's cheap, easy to use, love the interface, and it's just really, really, really good. Now, what you can do is, as you can see, it's eleven ninety nine. If you check the description, there should be a link which could get you it for either seven fifty or seven ninety nine. Point is, it's a very nice discount. However, you think that's just gonna get you there? You're gonna go, oh, what about fees and all that? Eighteen cent fee, which covers I can I C A N N. That's a one time fee per year. So basically, you pay like seven bucks for the domain name, eighteen cents or whatever. Then you want private registration because otherwise people can see your address and you just don't want that, right? So you can get private registration also from GoDaddy, very cheap. But what I've actually found lately is that I actually like to, I'm thinking about for a new project, registering a domain name with Well Hosting because they have free who is privacy, so private registration, DNS control which is domain name system control so if you want to just use it for email and now before you can do that from them for free it's very easy to do and it's ten dollars so if you do the math it's a lot cheaper but if you want to use godaddy the link will be in the description i love well hosting so after you register that you claim the name you need to build the website so there's several options you can code it yourself which i always like to do I also use WordPress. There's a lot of things called CMSs. A CMS stands for Content Management System. There's WordPress, which is for blogs. There's Drupal. There's Joomla. There's PHPBB, MyBB. Those are form scripts. And several others for making a very nice, helpful website. There's MediaWiki if you want to make a wiki. And there's just so many different ones out there. but this is I'm going to be teaching how to install WordPress because that's what they wanted me to teach and that because someone really wants to make a website or a reviewer opinionated reviewer go check him out and it 
is for once you register it, you need to build it, and you need to publish it somewhere. Where where are you going to publish it? Well, you need hosting. Personally, I think free hosting is not that good. They have a lot of downtime. It's not very reliable. So what I recommend is you get paid hosting, which is very cheap as well. So you can pay five dollars a month, which gets you unlimited space, unlimited add-on domain name. So you can host like twenty websites with unlimited space for five bucks. That is pretty amazing. Unlimited bandwidth. <sighs> That is very, very good. So that's the $5 one, which is what I use. There's also the starter, which comes with 30 gigs of space, or 3 gigs of space, sorry, 150 gigs of bandwidth, 3 SQL database, and free migration. This is probably what I would recommend for some people because of the fact that if you're just starting your website, you don't need a ton of space, but it's very fast and reliable. Their customer support is amazing. So once you picked out a web host, um, if you pick out a different web host than your domain registrar, majority of the time you have to set name servers. Now what a name server is, is it's basically something like this. You have your hosting account and then you have your domain name account to access your domain name. You go into the domain registrar and update what are called name servers. Now what this does is tell you that web address that you're pointing to their servers. So let's say for example the website techtubecentral.com it has two name servers up ns one dot well hosting dot com and ns two dot well hosting dot com. Those are name servers and they're very easy to set. So what you do is I'm just gonna use a dot tk because for this example and I already to set your name servers, I'm just going to teach you how to do it on GoDaddy. You have your web page, I'm just having it minimized for a second. I want to hit mic. And then you should scroll down and you should see a list of your domain names. So I'm just going to click on techtubecentral.com because that's the one I want to change the name servers for. So I actually want to change these to well hosting because for some, I was debate going between web hosts and I thought I updated it back to well hosting but apparently I didn't so what you want to do is type in ns1 dot well hosting and it's not always going to be this it's whatever your domain your web host gives you but this example I'm using the web host well hosting because it's cheap and it's what I use web zero zero triple zero web hosting is ns1 dot well triple zero webhost.com ns2 byte host is ns1.byte.org and then keep doing that for one through four so i just want to hit save and there are so many different ones you should it's ns1 ns or and ns2 dot whatever your web host is but it just from for some web host you'll have to tell it that you're adding a domain name to your account so what you want to do is just log in Scroll down until you see add on domain somewhere. And here you should get a list of add on domain names. So for this example, I'm going to use what I use. Most web hosts use something called cPanel, which is basically a script that your web host installed, which makes an easy content management system. See, there's, they're using a CMS, which allows you to make a web host and manage it. And you just type in your domain name, then you have FTP, which basically stands for File Transfer Protocol. You can use an FTP client to transfer files to your computer, from your computer to your website. And I'll, I already talked about FTP in the past, but basically what you can do is you have something like FileZilla, you type in the FTP server, so like ftp.yourwebsite.com, and you can just drag and drop files. So I just... If I wanted to add a website, I can do so. Pick a password, pick the root, and there you go. So there, that's how you add an add-on domain. Now what about when you upload the files to your website? Well, that's really easy to do. You can use 
something like a built-in file manager specifically for your web host that they give you an online file manager or you can use an FTP client like FileZilla. So let's just launch file. Uh, the right here you have lots of files. These are the files of your website. Whatever is in your fold this folder will appear on your website. And usually your web host will tell you it's either htdocs, public underscore html, or the root directory slash whatever your website is. So it's in my home directory, but it's in the folder TechTube Central. So everything in this folder shows up on my website. So how do you put the index of your website? Websites use things like PHP and HTML, CSS, lots of different files. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, is and it is the main base of a website that in CSS. So if you want to code by yourself, you need to learn HTML. And I have a series going on on Microtech Tutorials on how to learn HTML. The reason I'm doing a tutorial on this channel, you might be asking, is because of the time limit. I am so terrible at the stupid time limit. And it's probably going to be longer than, prob this video probably is going to be longer than 15 minutes. That's why. So the index page of your website, so when you save a file, let's say you code something like, hello. You save it as index.html or index.php or index.htm. This tells the web server that, okay, this is the main page. And then you link to it and say HTML and blah, blah, blah. So that's basically the basics of how to do it. You get you get a domain name, you get hosting, you link the hosting to the domain name via changing your name servers, you add on the domain name, and then you upload the files to your websites. This is a very simple and easy thing to do, and it can be done really fast and easily. Like I said, I recommend GoDaddy and Will Hosting. Will Hosting primarily for hosting, GoDaddy primarily for domain names. So this has been how to build a website for noobs. So in the next video, I will be talking all about WordPress. So stick tuned to that video, and I'll see you guys in another Tech Tips Central video. Peace.